All right, this is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 21. We're going to be solving two-step word problems using uh, multiplying multiples of 10. And really, this is just a big uh, opportunity for us to practice those multiples of 10, multiplying by multiples of 10. And also, we're going to combine that perhaps with using some tape diagrams. And so this is just kind of bringing everything all together uh, in one lesson. So in this problem, we are told that there's, of course, 60 minutes in one hour, and we're supposed to use a tape diagram to find the total of number of minutes in 6 hours and 15 minutes. So I think the way I would draw this is I would begin by drawing a tape diagram with those, for those 6 hours, because they're identical. So I'm going to start with those. And there's my 6 hours. And then I'm going to squeeze in here an extra... 15 minutes. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to call that 15 minutes. And then each of these hours can, counts as 60 minutes. So I'm going to label each of these with a 60. So if I zoom out, I can see the whole problem now looks like this. And so the question wants us to figure out this whole answer. But really, what we've got is this piece right here is six groups of 60. And then we have to add in that extra 15. So the first thing we need to do is six groups of 60. Well, six groups of 60 can be thought of as six, oops, six times, and I'll change that to just times, and then we're going to change this to six times ten, and then we can use the associative property to get, gee whiz, I am messing up all over the place, six times six times ten, and this six times six is thirty-six times 10, which equals 360. So we've got 360. So 6 times 60 is 360, but now we have to add in that extra 15 at the end. So 360 plus 15 gives us 375 minutes total. So on this problem, Tamara wants to buy a tablet that costs $437, so there's her goal. She saves $50 a month for nine months. Does she have enough money? And we're supposed to explain why or why not. I'm going to draw a tape diagram. And my tape diagram, I'm going to make it pretty big, is going to be for those nine months. So I'm going to make nine identical months. I don't know how identical that is, but I was trying to make identical months. And we don't know what the total is, but we do know that each one of these is 50. So if I wanted to, I could put in 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 and 50. And we want to know what's her total. So that's going to be nine groups of 50. And 9 groups of 50 is 9 times, and then that's really 5 times 10. But then we can use the associative property to make it 9 times 5 times 10. And that gives us 45 times 10, which is equal to, uh, and I have to scroll down a little bit, that's equal to $450. So the question is, does she have enough money? And the answer is, uh, yeah, she does. Because her goal was $437, and she has $450, so she does indeed have enough money. Yes! Yay, she gets her tablet. And then the last problem for this video Celia sells calendars for a fundraiser. Each calendar costs nine bucks. There you go. That's an important number, so I'm going to underline it. She sells 16 calendars to her family and 14 calendars to the people in her neighborhood. 
Her goal is to earn $300. Does Celia ex uh, reach her goal? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a tape diagram that shows all of the calendars. So she sold 16 calendars to her family. And she sold 14 calendars to people in her neighborhood. And I'm just going to put nearby, as in neighborhood. All right, so the question is, how many did she sell total? So that's going to be 16 plus 14. Carry the 1. 6 plus 4 is 10. Carry the 1. That gives us 30. So she sold 30 calendars. And we know she makes $9. Each co calendar costs $9. Uh, so, we know that we're going to multiply 9 times 30 calendars, and that's equal to 9 times 3 times 10, which is then 9 times 3 times 10, and 9 times 3 is 27 times 10, so that means, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, uh, that means she made two hundred seventy dollars and the question is did she earn her three hundred dollars that she wanted nope she got two hundred seventy dollars she was aiming for three hundred so she didn't quite reach her goal but at least we've practiced how to multiply by multiples of ten uh, very simply and that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 21.